Hi, this is Chris from Free Library Springfield Township here with an Easter craft for you. I know it's hard to get eggs right now at the grocery store, so we're going to make our own colored egg out of paper. What we're going to do today is we're going to take two pieces of paper. We're going to make two eggs basically the same size. We're going to draw them and then we're going to take and cut all kinds of strips of paper. You can use any kinds of things that you can have you find whether they are construction paper whether they are scraps of um, scrapbook paper whether they are out of magazines um, anything that you've got that are bright and colorful so I did one egg that is in I outlined it in a marker because this egg we're going to cut out and I set that one to the side and this one I just did in pencil this is the one we're going to glue so what we're going to take and do is we're going to take good old glue stick and I'm going to start down here and the idea is is that we're going to take in start Ooh, there we go. Put a little bit across the bottom here and we're just going to start we're going to create pattern of an egg. So you, things that you've got here, you're just going to, let's see, how do I want to do this? Uh, the pieces, the strips that you have, you just want to make sure that they go over the sides of your egg. They don't need to, uh, it's going to be a little more. This needs to cover the bottom. So it needs to make sure that you go beyond beyond our egg. So you want these to be big and thick and thin. Maybe that one I did kind of thin. They don't have to all be straight. They can be I think I got some of mine that are actually cut kind of crooked. But we're just going to kind of work our way up the egg. Like I said, some of this is scrapbook paper that I had. Some of it is construction paper. Some of it I got out of a magazine that I was working out of. Some scraps. You don't want to put too much on the glue stick because it will dry awfully quick on you. But as you can see, I've got all kinds of patterns. Some of this paper is different on both sides. So like our Easter eggs, they're always multicolored. So we have all kinds of fun things that we're doing here. Oops. This one that's striped, that's kind of cool. Oh, I like that one. Like that one with the little pattern on it. Make sure that when you're doing your glue stick that you get a little bit of glue outside the, your egg so that it'll glue all these. See, I, I didn't get these glued down here so they're kind of sticking up. So I may want to go back down here and glue these down. Make it easier later on. There we go. What else do we have here? Oh, let's put that one. I kind of like that one. I see I had some more yellow. Oh, I do have some more yellow. Let's add some more yellow. Bright yellow on an Easter egg. Excellent. That one's kind of thin. It's nice. What else do we have here? 
No, that's not going to be big enough. How about the beige? Let's see. What else do we have here? Oh, look at this one with the big polka dot. Mm, oops, my glue dried up. I like that big polka dot. That one's cool. Okay, so now that covered all of our egg. So we got ourselves a collage of strips. So now we're going to take the egg that we had made, we had drawn over here, and we're going to. Ah! Take and work our scissors down into it. Chris likes to go about this. Kind of make this into a clock base and then you can easily cut around the circle. And because I had taken and outlined this with a marker, it makes it then a nice bold circle then to, well, bold egg shape to cut. But once you kind of pierce that center with your scissors, now you may want to have somebody help you with that because you're going to have to have a sharp pair of scissors to do that. Um, oh, oh, there we go. So there we just cut out an egg shape. So now we have to have glue a little bit stronger than Elmer's or uh, stronger than a glue stick and we're going to glue it down and then we're going to have our Easter egg. So I happen to have some tacky glue. It's one of my favorites. You could use Elmer's glue and I'm going to put it on the back here. Sure to get it on the corners real nice and good. And around the circle which should be the frame. Oops. So now we're going to take and we're going to flip it over and we're going to line our two pages up and I'll glue them together. My tacky glue will take just a second to set up so take me a second to hold it down. But if you have Elmer's glue, that'll work too. But like I said, I happen to love tacky glue, but any kind of glue that you have. But 
there you go. We've just made ourselves a very decorative, very fancy Easter egg. Hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe, stay well, and look for more crafts coming later. Bye.